Welcome to our next Photoshop tutorial. This time we'll be doing a great fire text effect. This can create a great illusion of text that looks like it's either made of fire or on fire. We've already started with a great fire effect image we'll use later in the tutorial. We'll proceed by opening a new file, making the height 1280 and the width 720. Change the background to black by using the paint bucket tool and make sure the foreground color is black. Use the text tool next and a great tall font. I'll type the word fire here so we can see the effect on it later. Let's go to the blending options on our layer and add an outer glow. Change the color in the box here to F seven zero three zero zero then hit OK. Select the satin blending next and change that color to eight seven two D zero F and hit OK as well. Change the opacity on the satin effect to a hundred percent. Change the distance to ten pixels and hit OK. Now select Inner Glow. Change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge here. Next, change the color to E5C23B. Then hit OK. Change the opacity to 100%, the size to 10 pixels, Then hit OK. Now we're done with our text, so hit right click on the text layer and rasterize our type. Now we're going to fade out the top of our fire text. So use the eraser tool and set the brush to 250 pixels with zero hardness. Erase some of the text as you see here. Now we'll go up to Filter, Distort, then Zigzag. Set the amount to 4 and the ridges to 4. Make sure the style is set to Pond Ripples and hit OK. Now we'll select our fire image we've opened and copy that into our text image we're working on. Position the fire image over our text then we'll switch over to the Channels tab here next to our layers. Hold Control and click the green layer to load a selection of the areas of fire in our image. Head back to the Layers tab, then press Control J to make a copy of the selection we got from the Channels tab. Delete our original Fire layer. Here I'll rename the layer Fire Main to stay organized. We'll move the fire around to wherever we like in the image. From here, we'll resize the image to fit over our text, then duplicate the layers so we can make more fire effect on our text. Be sure to resize, rotate, and erase edges of the fire around the text so it looks like the text is on fire realistically. And that's how you do this effect. 